Hello and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to troubleshoot a GE refrigerator that's not cooling. Most of the time on these GE refrigerators when it's not cooling is the main control board or the relay. So if you have temperatures going up like this, more than likely your compressor is not running. So the first thing you want to do is pull the fridge out and remove these 5 16 screws. The reason we're removing this bottom panel and we want to make sure the compressor has no type of vibration, this is a good way to see if it's actually running or not. If your compressor is still running but cold to the touch, that means you have a different problem, probably like a freon leak or so forth. But if it's cold and not vibrating, more likely it's your main control board or relay. So this compressor is completely cold, no vibrations, so Right there is a relay if we have to replace it. I will link another video in the description to show you how to do that, to check a relay. Uh, most of the time when the control board relay goes bad is due to dirty condenser cools. So that's something that you definitely want to clean after you do the repair. So let's remove this back panel to check the main control board. To remove the back panel, you will use a quarter bit screw. Remove all the screws. To remove the panel, you just basically pull it right off. Okay, so be careful. We're going to do some live checks. So plug back in the refrigerator. And now we're going to do the electrical checks that controls the compressor and the defrost. So if you have a multimeter, you'll set it to volts, AC volts. And then you're going to touch the black prong to the comma and then the red prong to the compressor output. And we have 120 volts there. So basically that means the compressor is not taking the voltage. Vice versa, defrost, 118 volts. Same concept, if we would activate the defrost, that 120 volts should be zero. And this is a relay that activates the defrost and the compressor. So if you don't have a multimeter, go ahead and unplug it. We're going to disconnect this coax from the main board. So just kind of wiggle it off. And this is why we definitely have to unplug it because we're touching it with our hand and not a multimeter. Okay, so once we have this removed, you're going to take a wire and strip it where both sides are shown the copper. And then you're going to take this coax. See, there's your comma. So then you're going to go to your brown and your black. So basically what we're doing here, we're jumping the wire. Basically what the relay would do is send power from the brown to the black. To the black. So we're basically going to take this out of place and jump the wire. So when we plug this unit back in, the compressor should turn on. If the compressor does not turn on still, that means we have a bad relay or a bad compressor. But if the unit does turn on, that means our main control board is not sending power to the compressor. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I will leave parts in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. And have a good day.